I look at this guy, man. He's always talking about repentance, 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 repent. You know, it looks like we're in funeral. <laughs> Seriously, though. What we, all we do is cry before the Lord, kneel before Him. Yo, I had enough of this Orthodox church, man. I'm not sure that applies to the whole church, though. Some don't do that. Let's get out of here. Church just in Passion Week? I never care to count, man. Actually, a thousand times. Just Friday alone, we say 500 times, Lord of Mercy. Hi, guys. Where were you? We had great fun in class today. Fun? What do you mean by fun? See, Tan Tuzi, the definition of fun to you might mean a completely different meaning for us. We were speaking about them. Um... Talking about repentance. And how <laughs> repentance is so much fun. <laughs> Actually, no. Okay, maybe not repentance. Perhaps spiritual struggle. Wrong again. We were speaking about Excuse heavens. Me? Oh, okay. We were speaking about heavens and the joy that is there and the praises that's waiting for us. Wow, that's a big difference. So you will attend the spiritual day? Oh, I don't know about me. Maybe Mina. Mina? Why are you sacrificing me like this? Guys, there will be a lot of fun. Praises, prayers, games, biking. And on top of that, there will be a lot of good food. Oh, we'll think about it. No, you will come. Okay, I'll see you. Do you want to come to this special fun day? Psst, nah, it's going to be like those other things that they do. Uh, enjoyed the uh, the meeting over there. The, uh, did, you, did you learn something? Of course. Repentance, repentance. Oh, and repentance. <laughs> you got it? Wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's the gist of it. Um, so listen, guys. I hope you come next week. All right. This is, it's gonna be a great time. The fun day, the spiritual day. Oh no no no. We're we're having this pan Orthodox uh, convention. Um, we're gonna bring everybody from all different types of Orthodox churches together in one in one group in one meeting. Hey guys, listen, it's freezing cold outside. Let's go inside and we'll, yes, we'll talk, yes, alright? It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. You know, man, it's kind of cold outside. It's definitely freezing. It's yeah. warm in here. Let's continue what we were saying outside. You know, Nedder, these are great things. I don't want to lie to you and tell you that I'll come. But why not? We, uh,. I hear the same things over and over and over again, man. It's kind of boring. So, you guys don't like talking about repentance, but why? Because it's sad. And when it comes to spiritual days, what's the issue there? Because it's just not fun. Guys, honestly, I don't know what you guys want anymore. All right? We ask you to talk about God and heaven and joy and it's not fun, it's not enjoyable enough, right? You talk about repentance, and it's just like talking to a wall. Oh, it's too depressing, all right? What's going on? You guys seriously remind me of the verse that says, we played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned for you, and you did not lament. Is that really a verse? What does it even mean? So, in the time of Jesus, kids would play in the marketplace. They would have this game where some kids would play and play the flute for each other, and the other kids would dance. And some kids would mourn for one another, and others would lament or cry. And at some point, they would reverse, okay? But they kept on playing this game, and they just, for some reason or another, they decided that it's not fun anymore, right? And so the kids who were supposed to cry, they did it. And those who were supposed to dance did it? Exactly. It's, that's exactly just like you guys. 
all right? Nothing is appealing to you. At some point, you gotta be careful because down the road, Christ will not be appealing to you anymore. And that's just not okay.